Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of my tabs videos. Today we are fighting the Viking faction. Clash of Warriors. Now, at first this level looks tricky, but my money, I have exactly enough for two chronomances. So what if I just put a couple of chronomances over here and call it a day? Only one of them turned into a butterfly. And he's getting held down by the circles. But I thought this would work. Maybe we go with one Chronomancer and a protection unit. Scatter some protection around to stall. Yeah, that should work. So, they should come at him in a several waves, and if he stays in the sky, oh, what are you doing? You're not doing... Yeah, maybe I'll just let him control himself. So how's he doing? Oh, he's that. Yeah, see, it just doesn't work. But it should. Okay, you know what? I've used a lot of these units. But there's something I don't think I've used yet. We have enough for just an army of whatever these guys are. I'm not even sure if they do damage though. Oh, well, apparently they do. Okay then, because that's logic. And now we're surrounded. You know what? Same amount of money, same tactic. Okay, but this time there are y'alls who are kind of beef. Yeah, can't expect the solar architect to do everything. He is putting up a fight though. Let's just get rid of that. Maybe one in the one devout a little little squad in the in the middle. A couple of guys to activate them. A front. And then we have just enough money for that. We took out half the Berserkers. Okay, we've taken out all of the Berserkers, I think. Is that the last one? Oh no, there's one more. for the brawler. <laughs> no, so close. It's taking taken out by the handle. But that was really close. And it might have been I just placed these guys wrong. Because I should have one going for each of the brawlers. Then I should maybe have like a radiant glaive to do some damage. 
couple of these guys. And then last but not least, as many of those as we can afford. So, nothing should change with the, um, but it did. Oh, everything did worse. Huh. What else would use up all of our money? I like having, um, the Divine Orbiters in the back. Let's do two this time. What if we got some grannies up in there? And it looks like we have enough money for two of these things. That they can protect the granny somehow? I don't know. Oh, everyone's gonna go right there? I assumed they would go for the Orbiters. Whoa, this is so much better. And the yolos are so close together, they taste themselves. That's so much better. Who's alive? Come on, fire. That was so close. <laughs> um. Okay, I see a lot of arrows. Now I don't. Oh, that actually kind of worked. Yes, I don't trust you. nearly worked what if we just did one in the front to draw the first shot divine orbiter in the back then a celestial agus army to handle whatever else there is yeah you should not be this close So 1v1. I missed. How do you miss with this thing? He was... Oh, that's weird. Four arrows shot. But like seven were missing. Huh. But I've never actually looked at this closely. The arrows are kind of like going into the walls. Okay. Decisive maneuver. Okay, I want to do something like this. Hopefully these will flank around and take out... Yeah, those are archers. For a second, I thought they might not be. Whoa. No, no, no. That's a secret unit. Right? That's the Shogun. And he's a secret unit, I'm pretty sure. Well, if they're going to use a secret unit, I'm going to use a secret unit. But only one, because that's all they used. Um, Divine Orbiter, because I honestly doubt those solar orb... What is this? That's weird. So huh. I wonder what that is. Um... And may maybe some radiant glaives. They have shields, so they should be good against the ninjas. And a couple of celestial aguses to hopefully do something. Okay, that monk's gonna just blow up. No, you were supposed to go take out the firework archers. Okay. If 
The other guy would have done his job. No, no, you're not. You're going this way. There. Now everything should go in my favor. Oh, Shogun's in the water. Shogun's dead. Oh, we have two ranged units against a samurai. Hit him in the back. Hit him in the back, Fortner. Yes, we hit him in the back. Hey, I'm not about that. The Renaissance. Of course. Okay, so first thing I see, the muskets. Gotta have something to take them out. Or take their, take their shots. Then we have to have something to take them out. What about seven radiant glaives? Ooh, what if we... Th you know what? No. We're gonna do our good old flanking tactic. Would an elephant like to flank? I just wanna see what this does. There's no way the elephant will fit through all of those narrow corridors. <laughs> it got stuck. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work, but... I was kind of hoping it would be hilarious, which it was. So, Celestial Aegis, a couple of them, just to take the musket shots. Divine Arbiter in the very back. Some Radiant Glaives. And some Devout Goblets. Okay. These muskets, these muskets are trying to decide, do we shoot them now, or do we go into the building and close corridors? And they're... Are those the Executioner? No, the Executioner is a secret unit. It has a much bigger axe. Oh, here comes my army. The muskets are all missing, they're all tied up. can't lose. They, they can't get in. Oh, maybe they can't. They're figuring it out. You might want to back up. Okay, never mind. Oh. <laughs> I have missed that strategy, so... And you did this. See, I don't want to do it again, but now I have to. Wait, I can't. I'm surrounded. I can't even cheese this. I have to actually fight. Well, let's just let's get up close and personal. Can they block cannons? Well, we're about to find out. Look at that. Can you punch? Can you punch a jouster? Do you even punch? Actually, I don't know. oh, I don't think we killed anything. That was probably died to a cannonball. Okay, you know what? We can afford two Chronomancers and a Divine Arbiter. We're gonna go with two Chronomancers. Just a lot of bubbles. A couple of bubbles. You know what, this has been a good video. Oh, but the pirate faction. Yep, let's fight the pirates. Okay, so... Chrono the Chronomancers are a captain. Celestial Aegis to handle the blunderbuss. Got gauntlets for the cannons. Couple more devout gauntlets for whatever else happens. Let's face it, something's gonna happen. Oh, the captain's dead. 
Okay, that might be my bad. Also, we, we should put him a bit closer. So he'll go to the castle immediately, hopefully. And we died instantly due to that. Okay. Okay, so we have Butterfly. And we have cannons. Oh. Come on. Yeah, yeah, butterfly is not gonna do it here. But I did everything else did fairly well. I mean they didn't last forever and they didn't do their jobs, but they did hold them off. So something like that. Divine Arbiter should be able to handle the captain. And we can throw in a sacred elephant for good luck. All the blender buffs are dead. Oh, never mind. Now they're all dead. Who was that? Oh, that was the elephant riding dude. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Righteous Paladin, Righteous Paladin. A couple more Devout Gauntlets. That didn't happen. How much better this did? We hardly lost anyone, but we only lost the small weak units that we knew we would lose. <laughs> you know what? I think that's going to be where we ended off for today. Mostly because I don't want to face off against one pirate queen, let alone two. This is going to be an interesting battle, but not today. I'll see you all back here again next time, and as always, have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Bye!